Hey, what's going on everybody? This video we're going to be talking about the ternary conditional operator. Bunch of fancy words, sound smart, but really it's just something very simple. We've talked about operators such as the plus operator which adds two things. We've talked about the, the logical not operator which will make something that's true become false and something that's false become true. And these are different categories of operators. We got unary operators which work on one thing such as the logical not operator. We have binary operators that work on two things, which an example of that is the plus operator. And then we have the ternary operator, which takes three operands instead of one or two. That's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. The ternary operator, I'm gonna admit, has a very confusing syntax to begin with. It can take some time to get used to, and you don't actually need it for anything. You can do everything it accomplishes with other code. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that if you don't like the ternary operator. But first we need to talk about our sponsor, monday.com. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So the way the ternary operator is structured is you have an expression and then a question mark and then what will be returned if it's true and then a colon and then what will be returned if it's false. So this is the general structure. By expression, it's basically the same thing that would go inside of an if statement. So when we have an if statement, we have something like this. So we have a comparison operator and some operands, for example, inside of this if expression. Well, you can basically just think of cutting this and putting it here. Let's say we have a variable. It's gonna be called correct. So let's say we asked some trivia question and we got it right. Well, what we can do is we can say something like correct, which is our expression. It's either true or false question mark, and we can reward points. So if they got it right, they get 10 points. Otherwise, they get zero points. And this is going to return a value. We need to assign it to something. So what we could do is we could say points earned, for example, and assign it this ternary operator. So basically what's happening is it's going to ask if correct is true. If it is, it's going to return 10, and points earned will be 10. Otherwise, it'll be zero, and points earned will be zero. So when we write out points earned, we should get 10. So that is the general structure for the ternary operator. If you wanted to convert this to an if statement, it looks something like this, correct? So if this is correct, what we're going to do is we're going to assign points earned equals 10. And then if it's false, what we're going to do is say points earned equals zero. And this should work just the same way. Now the thing to know here is that we need to have this variable defined outside of the if statement. So it might look something like this. Let me clean this up a little bit like this. So we declare that variable here, and then we assign it inside of here. We don't want to declare it in here like int here, because if we were to do that, it wouldn't exist outside of these curly braces. So make sure you declare the variable in here and then initialize it inside of the if statement. Then outside of here, we could use it. So that is how we would use a ternary operator. In this case, we converted it to an if else. So you can see it's not exactly necessary, but what we did in one line is tons of lines here. So <laughs> a lot simpler with the ternary operator as long as you guys can understand the syntax. So that pretty much sums up the different categories of operators. There's unary, binary, and ternary. Now that you know those categories, it's a lot easier to fill in the gaps. I don't think there's any that takes four operands, so you should be good. <laughs> Thank you guys, in the next video we're gonna be talking about a single line if statement. So how can we take an if statement and make it a lot simpler? All right, thanks guys, I'll see you then.